Hello, my name's Tatiana, but everyone calls me Tats. And no, I do not have any Tats. Today's video was inspired by my trip on the MV Uchuk III back in 2021. Today, I hop on a similar boat, the Francis Barclay. This freight will be taking me on a day trip from Port Alberni to Banfield. I'm excited to experience all this boat has to offer and finally get to see the remote and quaint town of Banfield. Is your breakfast ready yet? Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much. So like yesterday when I parked my car where I slept last night, I found a Starbucks gift card like right next to my door on the ground. Turns out there was like over 10 bucks on it. So yay free Starbucks. Now that I got my Starbucks, um, I have like five minutes to explain what we're doing today. Today I find myself in Port Alberni here on Vancouver Island. Now Port Alberni is like small town that you drive through on your way to Tofino. There's an activity here that I didn't know about until about two years ago. Two years ago in 2020, it was like October 2021, um, I found out about this freight that you could take out of Gold River. It's called the MV Uchuk the Third. Now this freight goes out into like the remote parts of Vancouver Island that you would never be able to get to otherwise or have no really reason to go to. And it drops off like supply. So you get to see like a, a different side of Vancouver Island. I didn't realize, but there's actually one similar here in Port Alberti that goes to Banfield. It's called the Lady Rose Marine and uh, I've been waiting a few years to find the right time to, to hop on in. So finally I've committed. We've got like 10 minutes before um, I have to go and purchase my ticket so uh, let's go. Parking is not right at the harbor where you're gonna get on. Parking is just like down the road. There's like this little parking lot. The MV Utrecht III was so gorgeous and I got to see so much that like I don't want to have like huge expectations for this in case it just doesn't meet, but still I think it's going to be fun because I had so much fun on the last trip. This one, there's got to be, this one's got to be good. Like there's no way it can't be. So the boat is Francis Barkley, but it's run through the Lady Rose Marine services. Uh, they tell you to get here between 7.15 and 7.30, and then that way, you know, you can sign in, get your ticket, and then hop on the boat to be leaving by 8 o'clock. Um, so definitely get here early, so that way you, you, you know, don't feel rushed, and then also feel like you can explore a little bit before having to, like, hustle on to the boat. Loki, it's gonna be really embarrassing talking to the camera around everybody for the whole trip. They're all gonna know me as that weirdo that brought the camera and was talking to the camera. Oh my god, it's so hard and awkward. They do have a menu of breakfast stuff that you can get on the boat, but since you know, I got myself a free breakfast thing from Starbucks. I didn't get breakfast this morning, but I will be getting lunch. There's also my second coffee of the day because I've got a problem. Um, but yeah. We're done about 10 minutes before we uh, depart. I'm enjoy this and then uh, get outside. Exactly 8 o'clock and we're on our way out. 8.01 now, but... <laughs> There's a couple that's been on this boat before and they said that this side of the boat, they starboard side of the boat is the boat to the side of the boat to, to hang out on because you get the best views on the side of the boat um, and they are prepared they brought their own chairs they brought a cooler you know on a cold day I had to bring a blanket but they said the last time that they did this it was so busy then there was nowhere to sit and it was super hot so um, yeah they came prepared um, so something to think about if you ever come on this boat is uh, try to ask and see how busy it is and whether or not you should bring your own camping chairs plus the chairs here are not aren't the most comfortable but I'm not gonna complain it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun trip howdy goodbye so it turns out that 
my boat is a B&B. That's really cool. That's really cool. See, now I found more stuff that I want to do. My gosh. This is a passenger trip today. No, probably just over three hours to get to Banfield. We're arriving in Banfield uh, maybe about 11.15. And we'll be an opportunity to go short in Banfield for uh, close to a couple of hours, I would imagine. We have a brief safety announcement this morning. In the unlikely event of an emergency, we have inflatable rafts on board. These rafts will be launched over the side, and the muster point and embarkation point into the emergency rafts is at the forward end of the lower lounge. Forward end, lower lounge, muster point, and embarkation point into the emergency rafts. We'd ask you to follow instructions from crew members at this time. Life jackets are located underneath the outer deck seating and also at the after end of the upper lounge and will be distributed by a crew member. Well, everybody's outside. Let's do a wee tour, shall we? Dining room. Seating. Bar. More seating. Outside! More outside! In the dining room is where you'll also find the cafeteria to order food, as well as the women's and men's washrooms. Simple, but they work. As we're like, you know, just cruising through the bay here, there's like a ton of boats, like hundreds of boats. And every occasional one will wave. So let's go outside and just see how many waves we can get. Oh, lame. Yeah, no, I got one. None? None from this one. they opened up the road again to single lane traffic but um, you know it's it's very real and it's also it's very sad it's, it's very sad and it's really unfortunate that that's the reality of our summers now is um, forest fires and, and uh, smoke everywhere Bring a jacket. They also recommend bringing a rain jacket. Definitely check the weather before you come and if it's raining, bring it. Bring a jacket because half of this experience is spent outside and you want to be um, prepared for that. I will admit though, I wouldn't want to be on this boat during a heat wave because there would be nowhere to escape it. Outside on the deck, there's no shade uh, to, 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 um, to protect me from the sun. So. so we've been going for about almost two hours now and look how blue the water is. It's, it's absolutely
thanks to the Francis Barkley crew for letting me explore. Not much long after, we were entering moody skies, which means we were getting close. Just like that, it's gotten a little bit cold out. So, um, like the FAU truck, the smokestack has actually puts off a lot of heat. So it's just standing against it, nice and warm. I was such a dig it. Like, I don't know, it was like halfway here and I realized I forgot to pack pants. And uh, I was praying for nice weather. And not that it's not nice weather, it's just like, it's a little bit cold for sure. So we're about, like he said, about 50 minutes away from arriving in Banfield and then we'll have two hours in Banfield to explore. On the MBU truck, you never actually get off the boat, whereas on this one, you can get off the Banfield and explore and then come back. Uh, ashore in Banfield. If you go off the dock, take a left, you're on the boardwalk, general store's right there. Uh, they're, just, see they're just opening the front door now, so they are open. Uh, off the dock, up the hill, right front. So we made it to Banfield. We have two hours here. Um, there's a restaurant called The Wreckage that I want to go to, but they don't open for another 40 minutes. So we're just going to walk along the boardwalk here, which is like, you know, the touristy thing to do, and just, just check it out. Okay, check it out. Banfield's Cat Colony. From 2006 to 2016, this was the site of the feeding station for feral cats that were trapped, neutered, and returned here to live out their lives. How cute. Well, I don't think this is a place I could like live full time. This would be such a nice place to come to for some peace and quiet, you know? Just find a cabin on the water, go kayaking every day, just it'd be so peaceful. It'd be a really, really nice retreat. <laughs> we reached the end of the walkway. It was super cute. There's so many tiny like houses and quaint little places. And if you look closely, there's like, it's it's really curated. There's a lot of really like fun stuff. If you're, if you're looking, you'll see some, some really fun stuff and fun signs and, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna wait for this breakfast place to open and then we're gonna eat. I got the foghorn. Very nice. It's so fresh. You can taste. You can taste the freshness in it. It's so good. Oh my goodness, that food was so good. It was so fresh and so filling. I'm so glad I held out and uh, saved my appetite for that place. So highly recommend. Also, owner of the place is a is a friend of a friend, and when my friend saw that I was going to Banfield, he's like, you have to stop at, at the wreckage. That's my friend's restaurant. Um, and of course I did, and I said hi. Um, this friend's name Ian, and he's got his own YouTube channel. So if you like, if you like that camper life, uh, he's a good one to go follow. He's got a really good video on uh, a camper that he made for his truck. It's actually pretty incredible. So I would definitely, definitely go check him out. I'll put his uh, details for his channel in the description below. But um, we've got about 40 minutes left before we have to get on the boat. There was a few stops along the boardwalk that I wanted to make, but I wanted to get to the restaurant first. So we're gonna go do that now. One of the places that I saw that I really wanted to stop at, but there was like a lot of people here, was this like treehouse toilet. I don't expect much, but yet it's fun. They're just pit toilets. But they've made it so fun. Oh, composting toilet, there you go. You can poo with a view. How great is that? Surprisingly, it doesn't smell any sort of bad at all, actually. Which is kind of nice. And check this out. I think this touch is actually really, really cute. They even have sanitary products. Obviously, you can't put any of that down the toilet. There's a garbage can here to put those in, but it's cute. They've done a good job. Whoever did this, done a good job. So there's only like five minutes left before we have to like get back onto the boat and there's so much I didn't get to do. Like I didn't get to actually go in the general store and look around. There's an art gallery that I completely missed out on as well as 20 minute walk across the way. There is a beach that you can go to and a super secluded one and it's super beautiful. So 
this is nice to get a little taste of Banfield, but I don't think you actually get to experience it fully. I think you would need like a whole day and a night here, um, which, you know, I'm gonna put on the list. This was such a lovely day trip. It exceeded expectations. It was fun, yet unique. And I wouldn't call it one of your traditional things to do here when you come to Vancouver Island, but uh, it should be. It's worth the day trip. I did it. I knew I was going to have a good time. Um, anyway, the video is over, but my adventure is not. I'm off to buy pants because like I said earlier, I forgot my pants and I need pants for the activity I'm doing tomorrow. Tomorrow I start my adventure to Canada's tallest waterfall. So, um, yeah, there's that. That's what I'm doing. And if you're interested, you know, you should probably hit that subscribe button. It'll be out uh, probably next week sometime. But yeah, uh, I hope to see you there. I'm off to get some pants. Hi, my love. It's me calling. Thanks for texting me this morning. Sorry I didn't see it, honey. Thanks for letting me know you'll be out of service. Hey, this is not a joke, but I broke my left wrist and it was very bad. So Angie's here for me for the next few days. Um, I feel better, but we'll talk when you have service, okay? I love you and don't worry. And I fell trying to move a couch, I slipped and I fell on my butt. Okay, love you, bye. To erase this message, press seven. To reply to it, press seven. I need to find pants. Oh, they go down. It's like a pollen smorgasbord. Go nuts! Go nuts! <laughs>